and I'm gonna show you the coolest thing I've been coding in Blender recently. Um, Blender is used for 3D modeling, 3D move making, and sometimes for stereoscopic 3D as well. However, Blender has no real support for this. So I've been developing uh, this work called multi-view support in Blender. So no, not only stereoscopic 3D, but the generic multi-view support. Uh, if you wanna try the code yourself, it's in GitHub, github.com, uh, the Flinto Blender multi-view branch. The link's gonna be later in the video, don't worry. Uh, here's just a small overview. Let me show Blender itself. So, uh, with the multi-view, we create a new panel here. Let me just make everything stupidly large. Interface here. Yeah, there you go. Much better. So, if you just take your regular Blender scene and just render, nothing happens. You just see the regular cube. But we now have an option to create a new camera. So, we're going to create two cameras here. Name them left and right. So, let's see. this is left. And this is going to be right, hopefully. <laughs> and let's call this one center. Now, I go here. You can have multiple scenes, multiple views for the same scene. So let's call this one left. Uh, see, let's use the left camera. I'm actually going to use uncapitalized left. Take here right. Use the right camera. And now, if you just go and render this, it was a little bit too fast, but Blender rendered three views right, left, and center. And it's pretty cool. Um, we can also uh, remove one scene from here and just render left and right. See here. Or maybe you want to only render left and you pin the view here and just gonna render left as it was before. Okay, Depth as well. Um, the other cool thing is, oh yeah, so the center one, if you can, you can see here that actually I didn't select any camera. So whichever is the default camera is going to be used when you don't specify the camera. I'm going to open now a better file, a uh, file that's a little bit better to, to, to demonstrate that. There we go. Okay, let me, no composite, okay. So this file here has two cameras and each camera has a pretty much a text on, on front of it, so it's easy to, to distinguish between them. So also let me increase the interface, and I know I'm speaking fast. That's life. Deal with that. There you go. So now I have left and right set to render. I ask to render and Ta -da. right, left right and left. It also works for any path you have, so UV right and left. Um, we can also save this file. Don't look at my files over there. Hope there's nothing embarrassing. Let's call this one video recording. Video. As you see here, we have a few options. Uh, th oh, there's a new option here when you're saving EXR. It's the multi-part EXR. That's EXR uh, supported for since the new 2.0 XR release and if I save this thing and then just open up temp video okay there you go that's a file just as we rendered we have right left we have UV uh, no sense that also means we can just open any any multi view file you can find in the internet such as these ones are samples I got from the XR uh, repository. Don't, please, don't break. Please, don't break. Oh, I said a thumbnail and that was something stupid to do. I hope it doesn't crash. Jeez, I'm recording here. Um, okay, it did crash. That's okay. This was the first time I tried to preview the thing. But let's open that again. It's good that crashes because it shows that this is still work in progress. Still need some new development and I can't move it. I want to move this to anyways so here we are uh, again 
So I was going to say you can just take and open any file that's a, that has an XR multi with multiple support and you can see here switching between left and right we have a few of them from the XR repository okay. Okay. and that's not all, let's now show composite for compositing I'm still using right now I'm saving the file of the file output uh, node just in uh, the file uh, output node just because there's still a problem with the composite and viewer nodes but I'm f gonna fix that shortly and here basically we have our scene with the two views uh, uh, we are inverting the the light the color that same scene you saw before yep. go back to image and you're just mixing it up with an image let me use this image here, okay. Which image here? Okay. So as you can see here, this is a pre-rendered image. Let me show here on the image thing. That's in any anyway, production just pre-saved the file. So I have like right, center, and left. And also have UV for all of them. So again, I just render and save the file. I want to reuse it. Uh, you're going to see here a new option. Whenever the, the file has a multi views, more than one view, you can actually choose the, which view you want to show. So if you look here to the thumbnail, you actually should switch. If you go to from left to center to right. Okay. Uh, let's do right first. So let's just render. And now Blender is compositing. And Blender should be done compositing. Yep. Now here, I'm going to open the file you just rendered, which will be here. I think this one, yeah. So this is rendered because of the, we just set here on the on the file output. Here you can see the the two, uh, the two views. And even though the, the, oh, it's actually not inverted. I think I forgot something. But anyway, anyways, okay. That's why. Try again. Yeah. Anyways, that's good enough. So it's the call is reversed and it's mixing up with. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, double check and thing. Color mix off. So that's the file just saved. You can see. So what what I was doing, I have two layers. One is actually from the scene. The other the other one is pre-rendered. Pre-rendered, and this one is from the scene. And whenever they match, so whenever I'm using, I'm rendering the left, the oh, the right scene, the right eye, the right camera, and using the right buffer fr from the pre-recorded uh, image. We're gonna have this very nice and out, you know, this outline here, lightly colored. But since I'm using the right view for both, for all the views, I'm taking this image and using only the right uh, view in the image. Whenever I'm having on the left image, they just, they just do not match for obvious reasons. I hope it's obvious, but I could here just actually just use the center uh, image on this on this nice image. I need to re-render now, at some point it might be kind of semi-automatic and uh, yeah, but it's still work in progress. So again, let's reload the image here on the bottom and we see we still have the left and right but none of them match because we're mixing up two layers that do not match. And so there's this ni very nice option called All which try to automatically match up the names present in the view layer in the view node, sorry, with the render layer of the current scene. So if I just go and render render that and reload that, now I have the right, okay, the right's matching properly, and so is the left. See, and oh, now you want the the center as well. Just enable it in the scene and just render the center as well. 
It's very smooth. Okay. Go here. Center, left and right. All them working nicely. There's something else I wanted to show. Well, not really. But let me just open another another image. I think I have an image here. The Los Padres. Okay. Even I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it, so let me make it very big. Okay. So even here, just this is another image, not rendered in in Blender, but downloaded from the internet. If I just go here and switch the current view I want to use from this image layer can see that's changing which layer is using in the final image which is pretty awesome last but not least uh, I think that's all the, the other option is this pin option here that only renders the active scene view so if I just go here and render it's gonna work just as regular blender so it's gonna do composting it's gonna do rendering for one view at a time and so I think that's pretty much the way you're going to be working we might still want uh, overall global disabled stereoscopic or for composting just compost only on one particular view but for now this should do so if I just go here and then just want to render the, the center and compost the center it's gonna work for the center let's change for left for left yeah. change for left Remember that I said that if I just remove the, the, the camera, it's going to go for the default one. So if I remove here, just render, should render the center, yes, mix it up. So obviously it doesn't work. And that's about it. I uh, hope you like it. Here, you, don't, you can't really see in 3D yet because that's the last step. I was first concerned on the whole back end uh, implementation, which is not easy at all. And as you need to decide how do we how do you want to to combine let me show this in the original proposal. How do you want to combine the regular stereoscopic options with well with the multi view? Because originally I thought on actually pre and uh, having a stereoscopic camera. So you can see here you can easily set the eye separation and all that. But that's for later. I hope you enjoy it. And see you later. Bye.